Welcome to part 29 of GTA 5, and this is probably going to be the shortest part of the entire playthrough. Since you apparently specifically made it for me and Pedro. That and also, again, I was having, uh, I, I, I think at this point I was either having technical problems still, or I was just really... No, actually, yeah, actually, no, the real reason was I recorded a lot of these parts back to back, and um, I was getting a bit tired. Mm -hmm. Sure. I could put that on a t-shirt, actually. Hell is just down the freeway. Mm -hmm. The hipsters will love me. Trevor about? <laughs> He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or <laughs> household pets. Drinking He's human blood. Bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yeah, True. He's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Oh, Living boy. Living out here, away from the man. From what I the man. Know, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. <laughs> Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. <laughs> Tell <laughs> Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where are you doing? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, yes beautiful things like Very human nice stool. Well, hey, watch your mouth. Always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. Ah, uh, so train of dreams. Ah, uh, yeah. I wish I wish that was an actual show or something. Could you imagine that? The train of dreams. Or that that a relating game. Dreams, well, dreams, dreams. Oh, we technically did have that with an allegory in Thomas the Tank Engine. So there's that. Debs, 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 before we make a Train of Dreams show, we still have to make V-Rock into an actual real uh, radio station. Yeah, actually, Pedro, sorry to upset you, but Thomas the Tank Engine well, is sort of... So, I do. Sorry to burst your bubble, Pedro, but Thomas the Tank Engine kind of uh, did the whole Train of Dreams thing. I know, but what I mean is... Uh, that's more of uh, V-Rock uh, takes priority. <laughs> Alright guys, in this, mission, in this mission we're gonna jump on a train with a bike. Sounds exciting, don't it? Yep. Eh, well, we've done so much excellent stuff, sure, why not? <laughs> Very weather, those bastards. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to ensure for air travel trade. There it is. And they're just doing this for fun, aren't they? Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Hey, I got a ticket. Oh boy. Ah, yes. This reminds me of good old Sonic 06 where I chased a train on a motorcycle. Yeah, this actually also brings me Sonic 06 flashbacks. I was one of the lucky few who didn't have my motorcycle glitch. Oh? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Much appreciated. But as a question, Roy, what was put there is the, the death uh, fanfare for King's Quest 3. Mm -hmm. It fits, and I didn't really have any others that I could have put in, so... I'm actually surprised you didn't put in the King's Quest 2 one, since that uh, one's your favorite. Uh, well, I can't just put in King's Quest 3, then 2. Yeah, why not? No, 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 what I mean is, uh, I'm surprised I didn't put just 2 instead of 3, because 2 is your favorite. But 2 right? doesn't have a one that goes... True, true, yeah. And by the way, Shiroi, in case that fanfare sounded familiar to you, that's because uh, I've actually talked to the composer. Uh, he confirmed it, that uh, it, yes, it's the Inspector Gadget theme. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> By the way, Shiro, you went in on our uh, King's Quest uh, new make playthroughs since they're, you know, fresh stuff. Sort of fresh. Kinda. Basically, they're pulling a Star Trek into Darkness universe with it. it they're sort of yeah. inserting it into the old universe, but. Yeah. But it's well and new enough that you'll be able to catch yeah. on. In fact, like a, a fact, in fact, one thing, one plan I had was that we could each oh, do a, we, we could well, each we could, we could each do a chapter of the game, and then I do the epilogue. Yeah, well, 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 Joe. But considering chap episode one of the game takes place even before King's Quest one, it's literally it, it's literally completely devoid of continuity at that point. Although I get the feeling there is probably going to be some continuity for the later chapters. But, but even yeah. still, but even still, I'm guessing that they'll probably do it in a way where you can fill in the gaps yourself. Yeah, right, anyway. Guys, let's take this train to the bridge. It makes me think. So yeah, so now Rosa has a younger sister. Uh, no, no, she doesn't. Where you yeah, younger about? sister. Don't you remember? Don't you remember how in chapter one Graham's talking to a little daughter? Yes, but that's her gra her granddaughter. That's Rosella's daughter, or right. Alexander's daughter. It depends. They never explain if it's either Ro it's either Rosella or uh, Alexander's daughter. But no, it's not her sister actually. I mean, I mean it's it's gra it's Graham's oh, sorry, granddaughter. Sorry, 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 so sorry, 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 sorry. I misspoke there. Sure, you did. No, actually, I did. Trust me, my memory's not on the fray. <laughs> we. All right, guys, let's get to the rail bridge. You know, fun fact, Pedro, when I misspoke, I was actually thinking of a different character when I said her sister. Can you guess which character I was thinking of? Rosella only has a twin brother, not sister. I know, I know. Can you guess which other character I was thinking of and that's why I misspoke? Uh, let me guess. Uh, one of the Faith sisters. Mm, you're close, but no. Whoa! Whoa! I bet sure I could guess because she plays the character. Oh. Whoa, that was uh, that was close. Mm -hmm. Yep. But the mission's not over yet. Anywho, uh, do you give up, Pedro? I don't really care. So you give up? Again, I don't care. Just say you give up, Pedro. Now, Fine. If, if that makes you happy. I have a problem with reading something. Ah, whatever. Anywho, uh, basically, it was referring to Francisca's little sister. Whoa. Can we move on now? Pedro does. She I has guess, a sister? Yeah, it's mentioned. Huh. I get the feeling Pedro doesn't like it when he gets stumped by a riddle. No, I just don't care anything about what you're saying. Alright, guys, let's. Come on, ladies, break it up. Yeah, let's break it up. I meant you, Jover, as well. Don't care. I'm learning from Pedro. <laughs> Do you want Shiro to get out of whip again? <laughs> okay. So, let's um, shoot some boats up with a rocket. You know... Because I'm too lazy to shoot them. You know, Pedro, I get the feeling that these guys have a little too much free time on their hands to be getting all this weaponry. Just a little bit. What do you I think? Get, I guess, sure. Foiled by a machine gun. How tragic. Speed it up! Grab something! Let's go! Sniper's on the bridge! You still got that normal scope on your rifle? Try to shoot us with it before they find me! Yeah, um, I don't need them actually. Snipers are down! Yeah, um, I didn't need the thermal scope, I just shoot them. True. That's the thing I love. The games say you need something, but actually you don't need to use it. <laughs> In the meantime, I've befriended quite a few yokai. <laughs> GTA yokai watch. I think there actually was a yokai based off of that. You see, everybody, at the time of this recording, I'm still waiting for my Australian copy, and Shiro and Dwebs are still waiting for the European release, so Jova's here making us jealous. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Just like you're making me jealous of uh, getting a... Uh... Paper jab, yeah. 
Yeah, it's called Paper Jam. It's called Paper Jam. I'm getting hot too. Yay! The sad thing is that folks around here is called Paper. Yeah. Hey, audience, don't around. let them know, but I don't really care about Paper Jam that Get much. Come on. Around here is called Paper Jam Brothers. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Why? Because Japan likes to change stuff for Europe, apparently. Yeah. Just like they like to give you their versions of the copies of the covers. Final Fantasy? Yeah. Honestly, uh, I, honestly, I actually prefer Final Fantasy being just a, uh, uh, looks you know, so um, boring, though. I don't, I don't know. I like the minimalism of it. Uh, huh. I, uh, Maybe Japan was know. right when they fought Europeans to be, for the honest, minimalistic uh, version. Honestly, was, uh, I find the, the American covers of Final Fantasy to be pretty generic if I, myself, honestly. Huh. Well, like, uh, boy, by well, no like, means. Uh, it... like, uh, like, but then, then again, I'm a huge fan of um, Ishitaka Amano's artwork. No, 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 not, not that specifically, but Ishitaka Amano's artwork in itself. Like, basically, the Japanese in us let Ishitaka Amano's artwork in the logo speak for itself. Oh, we like Instead it of... too. Oh, we like no, it too. Say, I, I, we just don't always don't use like it for it. the cover. Eh, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna be I mean, shooting heck. some helicopters and boats. I mean, heck, I myself wish that Yoshitaki Amano's artwork had been, you know, the actual, you know, um, the actual graphics used for a remake of Final Fantasy V. If only so we can get Ferris in the way she was supposed to look like, as opposed to... Well, I'm not saying I don't like how she looks, but it feels a bit too radically different. And besides, I prefer the whole captain's garb coat that she had in Yoshitani Kiyamano's artwork. Okay, so guys, we've managed to oh, defeat yeah. the enemy. How much do you think you make for a census killer? The attack of the again. No! Shiroi, mute, please. Okay. Thank you. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Man didn't even get a trial, just popped up in Supermax. <laughs> uh, uh, Trevor, did you ever think that there might be something fishy going on? I get the feeling he knows deep down, but he's just denying it. Well, being in denial is what Trevor does best. Bingo. Oh, wow, being in psychology time. class you really helped me out. Before you go, show me the loot. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect for fucking what? <laughs> Squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job. Not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. <laughs> Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said it's impossible. <laughs> Just very difficult. Virgin He's got a point. I guess it, I guess that whoa, mission. Whoa, 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 I guess it could whoa, whoa, whoa. be a mission impossible. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh. Trevor's the one lecturing something about dreams? being suicidal. Yeah. Huh. Jobs, Earth must be turning on quite an axis this day. Um, Dan and the other writers did. Um, did you get your characters mixed up? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. It's just uh, his sensitive side peeking out again. It'd be like if Akira Hina was writing. A latent game, but got Leighton's personality mixed up with Luke's. Ah, uh, don't worry, Dwibs, it's legit. I was just making a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just making some fun comparisons. Or if, or if, or if Suta Kubi got Phoenix and Mia mixed up. <laughs> that would be uh, interesting. Well, I, well, I, well. Or, or, or if he, or if he got Apollo and Phoenix mixed up. Oh, oh yeah, he did. Well, 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 what if somehow? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. When did he get a yeah, Paul and Jeff, Phoenix mixed up? 
Well, Apollo was supposed to be a different character, but he ended up yeah. being just like Phoenix, and Phoenix became a different character. Yeah. We had to wait for... Uh, true, 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 true. However, 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 Yamazaki was involved in Apollo Justice, yeah. so... I know, I, we might know, have say, so, so, so we might have Yamazaki to blame for that as well, if not yeah. solely, yeah. since we have no uh, idea how much either had... Anyway, Pedro, what were you going to say? Uh, I don't know, Joe, but compared to Apollo Justice, Miyazaki actually had full creative control, so I'm... Uh, so Miyazaki? I'm, Yamazaki? Uh, Who are you? T what? Uh, uh, Miyazaki, Yamazaki, sorry. And he, and when he got the first director's job, he actually fixed the Polish character. So I'm yeah. going to go, well, I guess, and say we, that. And Shutakumi wasn't the director of Apollo Justice either, Pedro. So, so yeah, anyway, what anyway, point Pedro, are you well, then it was the make? third one then. Anyway, Whatever. Pedro, what were we going to say beforehand? What? You know, dwebs about you know, me getting characters mixed up. Uh, that, uh, never mind. It's not important. Oh, I wanted to know. Oh, Bye. Bye.